Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 lock screen widgets. Now, of course, this is one of the biggest features of iOS 16 and every day we have new apps and apps that are being updated to support iOS 16 lock screen widgets. So in this video, I will show you guys some of those that I believe are actually very, very useful and you must have them on your device. Now, before we get started with the first one, I just wanna ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So please, if you enjoy the videos and you wanna see more of them, make sure to subscribe, it really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the first one and it is Google Chrome. I know a lot of iPhone users use Google Chrome and Google apps have now been updated to support lock screen widgets. And here we have the widgets from Google Chrome. Now what we have here is the search button, the button to actually the widget to open an incognito tab. And then we have voice search. We also have the dino game from here. So if you want to search or you want to open an incognito tab, you can do that as easy as that. Or you want to start playing the dino game, you just tap right there and you start playing right away. These are really, really cool. So actually Google Chrome and other Google apps have been updated and now they have widgets for the iOS 16 lock screen. Next up is sports alerts. Now I did show this app when I did a video on home screen widgets. Now it has been updated and it also offers lock screen widgets. And here we have a few of those. So you will have a bigger one and you have smaller ones here where you can of course see the scores and also the next games for your favorite teams. It also has an inline right there. You can see an inline widget, which also will display the next game of your favorite team. Now, the way this app works, you actually go into the app and from here, you choose your favorite team. So you can choose teams from any league you want. You can see we have NFL right there, NBA, the soccer teams, anything you want. You can just go ahead and favorite them. And then from the lock screen, when you add one of the widgets, all you have to do is tap right there actually tap to go to customize, add the widget, and then just tap on the widget and tap right here once more. And you will be able to actually choose the team that you want to display on that widget. Next up is Flighty. This app allows you to track flights. So anytime you want to track a flight, you just enter the flight number into the app, and then you can actually track it directly from the lock screen. You don't need to use the app at all. So it will have all three different widgets you will have the inline widget which shows you more details of course even more details right here with the bigger widget and then you have the smaller one right there which will only show you the arrival time and of course right there it will show you the number of the flight next up is cloud battery now i did show on a previous video another app that does pretty much the same but this one is really good as well so it allows you to have the batteries of your devices that you have on your Apple ID. Now, the, in order for this to work, you will actually need to have the app installed on your other devices as well. So if you want to track your MacBook, you will actually need to have Cloud Battery also installed in the, in, on your MacBook. And then from there, all you have to do is just go ahead and add the widgets and you will see all your devices right here. You can see it also offers all different sizes so you will have the smaller ones you can have multiple of those with different devices you have the bigger one with three devices and the inline one which shows you one device and once you have added the widget all you have to do is tap on it and you can choose here actually which devices you want to see for the bigger one you will have three devices so you tap here and just select three of your devices for the smaller one you add the uh, widget and of course pick whichever device you want to see there and of course you can as i said have multiple smaller widgets from cloud battery and also display different devices. Next up is Documents by Randall, a very popular app that a lot of iOS users use to manage their files. And it now has been updated and it offers lock screen widgets. And you have a few of those here. So we have one that allows you to connect to their VPN from here. You can see your recent files from here. You can go to your files and then you also have a scanner. So you tap right there, you go directly into the scanner and it also offers more than this. So let's just go here and try to add another one. So if we go to documents here, you can see we have all kind, all different kind of sizes of widgets and also other widgets as well. So you will have VPN, you have a bigger and a smaller one. You have scan, browser, connect to computer, your files, you will have your recents, your favorites and your music as well. So you will have about six or seven different widgets that you can add from documents. 
and this right here is Apollo for Reddit. Now this one is really cool as well. This is one of my favorite apps when it comes to Reddit. It's really awesome and of course it has a ton of different features. Now right here you can see the feed so you will have the most recent right there. You can see it shows you the most recent post that you will have here the scroll how much you have scrolled through Apollo in feet right there really interesting then you have a subreddit to which you can go directly from here so you tap there you go to the subreddit it's really really awesome so anytime you want to quickly go to one of your subreddits all you have to do is add the widget and of course choose the subreddit that can be done simply by tapping on the widget you add the widget you tap on it choose here feed type so you can choose what you want to see there and then just enter the name of the subreddit you can go directly to that from your lock screen next up is quick launch now this one allows to open apps from the lock screen i know there are a ton of these apps on the app store but this one is my favorite because it's easy to use easy to set up and also it's free which is really cool of course you can open any app that you add here directly from the lock screen now if you go into the app the way it works you simply tap the plus button and choose here app you can also add urls or your shortcuts you just choose the name of the app right here type any name you want and then you will be able to select an icon which you can add like an emoji maybe from your photo library or just pick right there app icon and it will search for that app and find the icon you tap add and you're good to go once you have done that of course you move on to the lock screen you add a widget from this app and then you can just tap on the widget and pick here from the list of the apps that you have added there and pick whichever app you want to open from here next is top four now top four is an app that allows us to add custom lock screen widgets for example i have one right here that will open my instagram profile i tap right there it takes me directly to my instagram or if i want to quickly open a link i can tap there and it will take me to my link this one is actually really cool so if we go here you can see you will have places here for four widgets you go to one of them and choose what you want to do so let's say you want to maybe choose a contact to quickly call it you can choose an app to launch a url to open an instagram profile or you can have one of your accessories from home kit you can also go ahead and request an action or get feedback from here which is really really cool from the dev of this app you can request an action and of course if they can be add if they can add that they will and it will look really amazing so the way it works you choose right here what you want to display so you can display maybe an emoji there as the icon you can pick like an icon from the packs here or you can just go ahead and choose one of your photos and then of course choose here what which action you want to assign to that widget and then just add it from the widgets panel the next app for the video is called countdowns it allows you to create countdowns within the app and then of course have them on your lock screen so it offers two widgets of the bigger size what you will have here is one that shows you how many days are until the event that you have created there and then it will also show the other one which shows like how much it has been completed the time from now to that event which is really amazing and of course it will show here the exact date of the event and also the title of the event so you simply go here create your countdown add the widget and then from there you can pick whichever countdown you want to display on that widget and last but not least is weather radar it offers weather information directly on the lock screen of your device so you can see right here these are really cool actually it shows showers in three hours on new york city it will basically show you on your city when it will be raining so it will show that in hours and also right here this one you can see tropical depression you can see right there the hurricane and it shows you how many miles away it is from your location of course it's really amazing so let's just quickly go to the widgets panel of this app so I'll go right there and if we go here you can see all the different widgets that you can add so you will have here the rain you will have here rain countdown that one that we have right there severe warnings this one is really useful as well and you have hurricane tracker right there as well so really useful informations you can display on the lock screen using weather radar so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did as it helps out a lot and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you guys on the next video